Wait, hold on, let me... Irrigation room. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, well, so... I, 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 I kind of started start stream a bit late, like... I think it's not too late, late but like... It's, it's like, like a... a almost she minutes late. late. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, as you can, can see, like, like today I'm not, not using my module. module. I'm uh, using what was this called? Uh, uh, re Discord, Discord reactive, reactive images. images. As you see, see here, you see like my my model, model here going like uh, fading in and out, out and stuff. And stuff. <laughs> because uh, I wanted to use my phone to you know like look for reference and stuff. So I can, can go, go on, on Pinterest, Pinterest and stuff. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, oh wait. Wait, hold wait, on. Wait, <laughs> wait, you guys can, can see... Clips in the paint, right? right? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah you, guys you guys can. can. Okay. okay. Let me close this. And let me go... Ah, put on music. Hold on. Uh, okay, okay music. music. Yeah, I'm the tail. Wait, let, wait, let me close, close this as well. Okay. okay. Oh, I, I got I a got bunch of stuff, stuff to like show you guys today. I got a bunch of stuff. Oh, hello there, Squishy's, Squishy's Adventure. Hello. Welcome, Welcome to Squishy. It's, it's good to see you here. here. How, how are you? You've, You've ate, ate breakfast, breakfast yet? yet? Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Hi, oh, long time no see. Hunter McClellan, your way. Oh my god. Hi. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Let me show you guys some stuff. Wait, uh. Oh yeah, I, I made, made this, this uh, uh... Wait, hold on. I made this... this oh, well, not really I made this, this, like... I already made, made this, this uh... On Friday. Friday but... I should, I should change it into stickers, stickers now. now. Oh yeah, oh, yeah these, these are stickers, stickers that I've made, made uh, off stream. And yeah... I also, I also printed them out and stuff. Uh, I also cut all the stickers out as well. So yeah. As you can see, I'm not really good at uh... Talking, talking about, about stuff, stuff. But I'm, I'm trying. trying. Oh wait, hold on, I should probably show you guys the... The proper image for it. Uh, hold on, let me see. Where is it? Ah, oh, it's right here. Let me drag this over here. Okay. Yeah! Here's the stickers. Circle stickers. Uh, yep. yep, ate breakfast early today. Since I had to wake up at 7am to drive my parents to the airport. Oh, okay, nice. Are, are they going to... I don't have a vacation or something? Uh, your voice is echoing a lot, by the way. Oh, okay, hold on. Maybe reducing my... The music might help, maybe. Let me reduce it. Is this better? Or is it still echoing? To be honest, this, this could probably been solved if I had like proper microphone. <laughs> I can't, I can't say like I need, a, I need to get a microphone, but I still haven't gotten one yet. Uh, yep, they're traveling to Turkey for a 10 day vacation. Oh, nice. I hope your parents have a nice vacation there then. I hope they have a safe vacation as well. Okay, hold on. Let me close this. Oh, uh, I... I literally have no idea why I want to draw. Like, I... Oh, I literally know is that like a... I have to make three sets of stickers. And they have to be circus related. It's a thing. Like, I've already made two sets. Hold on, let me show you guys. In case you haven't seen it yet. Uh, wait, hold on, let me pull this again. And this. Okay. So basically, there's this one that I showed you guys. This one. Uh, I guess it's kind of like clown base. Clown. It's I got the inspiration from clowns, and for this one, it's more like a cutesy kind of circus vibe kind of thing. And after these two, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to draw. Like my my brain juice is no more. <laughs> well, I guess that's why I've Pinterest here for. It's gonna be quite useful. And uh, getting ideas and stuff. Uh, the animal ones are really cute. Thank you. I'm actually really proud of that one. Like, I'm most proud of that sticker. <laughs> like, it really is too cute. <laughs> oh no, this music is really sad. Oh no. Uh, I 
I should probably get rid of the stuff I don't need here. I don't need this. I don't need this. What's this? Uh, I should probably hide these. I don't need them. What is this? <laughs> I have so much random stuff. Okay, let me make another folder. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, if you guys have any uh, suggestions or any ideas that come to your head, you guys could always put them in the chat. And I will see if I... Well, I don't know, I could put your ideas into consideration. And they will they will actually be turned to stickers. If I... I don't know, um, approve of it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh... Hmm, what to draw? I have a suggestion for a cute monster. Oh? A cute monster? Did you tell? The slime monster from Maple Story. Wait, hold on, let me look at what it looks like. Uh slime maple story. Uh oh my god! Wait, it's it's cute. Wait, holy shit. Wait. It kinda looks like a like this, right? Oh, oh god. <laughs> the music suddenly really hype now. Wait, hold on, the, my pet is too small. It kinda looks like this, right? It's like this. <laughs> it's a little... It looks like a dumpling. With like a... I don't know, like a string attached to it. <laughs> it's really cute. Okay. Okay, maybe I can... Make this one slime theme. And somehow... Make it related to a circus. <laughs> Somehow. Basically an oval face. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. They're really adorable. Oh my god. Oh, maybe... Uh... Oh, I can have like a... Hold on, let me draw the body again. Oh, uh, you guys know like a... What's it called? The... 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 the sparklers? Wait, not sparklers. Like um. Ah, uh, the confetti thing. Yeah, like, uh, it's like, it's like this. And there's a confetti coming out of it. <laughs> like, I don't know what this thing is called, like, th this thing. So maybe, uh, this can be attached to, like, I love the, the hair, and then, like, this confetti everywhere. <laughs> Hold on, wait, what song is this? Oh, Hitori Goto. Nice, okay. Uh, well, I need to make this round, round, do this, a little triangle. This is too sketchy, hold on. <laughs> uh, do this. Maybe I should focus more on the face. Maybe give them like clown makeup. Uh, since like the reference I'm looking at has like a, uh, your eyes can have like this sparkle expression thing in your eyes. Maybe I can incorporate that. Kind of, kind of like this. Uh, you could maybe also attach a belt to its antenna thing to match the clown bells. Oh, okay. Wait, but. What do you mean by clown bells? Oh, let me look up what that is. Clown bell. Clown bell. Oh, wait. Oh, do you mean like the the the, the triangle things? <laughs> this uh, wait, hold on. What's the color? The, this thing. Is this called clown bell? I, I never knew that actually. Uh, because according to Pinterest, this is what it gave me. Like, this, this thing? Yeah, that thing. Oh, okay, so it's actually called clown bell. Ah, I learned something new today. <laughs> Thanks for the information. Uh, I don't know if it's called clown bell, to be honest. <laughs> ah, okay. I mean, it's fine. I mean, as long as we know what to call it. Uh... Wait, I need to get clown makeup. 
call makeup TV. Oh wait, no, no, that's not the that's not the type of makeup I want. Uh, clown makeup. I I want like proper clown makeups. Uh, I should probably get a color palette as well. Hold on, let me just uh go pull one really quickly. Color palette. Go to coolest.co and wait for the site to load and generate color palette. Loading. <laughs> this this color palette is too pastel. <laughs> uh, this oh this could work. Hold on, let me show you guys the color palette I got. Let me save this. As an image, uh huh. And I'm gonna pull the color palette into over here. I guess I think this color palette would be pretty good for our slimes. Okay, uh, make this into a proper layer and get rid of this bottom part. Okay. Wait, hold on, why is the music not playing? Uh oh, I think it's stuck. Ah. Wait, play. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. Oh my god, an error could. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Uh, just skip to the next one, I guess. Oh, spider dance. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I might make the hold on make the body yellow. Uh yeah, that could be pretty nice. The most challenging part of the slime might be the green invisible parts. Oh right, completely forgot about that. Since you can kinda of see through the slime. Right, that's true. I should probably uh do like the transparent grey part of the slime. Well let me just do that really quick. Like this. Actually that's not going to hold on. Okay, I think that's good enough. And I can't add another outline. I should probably name the layers <laughs> before I get uh, confused. An outline. Okay, that's good enough for now. Uh, how do I incorporate stuff to it? I could probably add the clown bell like... Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a chicken. Alright, oh. Oh no, I didn't mean to delete that. You know what, I'm just gonna start with the makeup. Oh, uh, where's the white? Okay. Yeah. Oh wait, not on this layer. Go on this layer. And do like this. Uh, get the red. Okay, that looks kind of terrifying. Never mind. <laughs> it's not cute anymore. Music, why are you pausing? Okay. Oh, maybe you have like these cheeks. These cute cheeks. Uh, I want cuter clown makeup. Let me search for some cute clown makeup. Oh, this one's pretty cute. Uh, how will I shadow look on the slime? <laughs> it kind of. Uh... <laughs> oh my god! Never mind. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> I know, I, I'm, I'm glad you agree. <laughs> what? Uh, 
slime? Are slimes even suitable to be clowns? Uh, at this oval face. Uh, what's in what's in the circus again? Uh, circus, 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 circus. Oh, maybe this can become a ball. Oh, the so could be balancing a ball on its head, maybe. Uh, actually, does it? Wait, hold on. Actually, maybe they don't need to wear anything related to the circus. Maybe they can be doing activities related to the circus, like I don't know, uh, jumping through a hoop of fire. <laughs> Oh no, the shiny is gone. Wait, let me add it back. Uh, do this. Uh, maybe I can just have random colors coming out of it. Let me try this. Like this, and this, and and then this. Oh wait, just color. It looks more like hair now. <laughs> uh, oh, maybe can add the the doll things, like the just the. Hat thing magics. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that could work. Yeah, it works. It's okay. I'm not sure if I can multitask telling a story or while drawing this, but uh, I'm gonna attempt to do so. <laughs> Basically, I think this happened last week. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was sometime last week, but I don't remember exactly when, but it was last week. Uh, basically, the priest, the priest and I, we wanted to, to uh, you know, go outside, do normal family stuff, and uh, we wanted to check out this new place that we saw. Like, um, the priest showed me like pictures of the place. Like, uh, he saw on social media, like, oh, this place looks pretty cool. And, like, uh, it looks like it was just recently opened and stuff, like, we should check it out and stuff. And it's not too far away from home as well. So, like, why not, why not just go check it out? And I was like, yeah, sure, okay. But then when I, uh, looked at the pictures that he showed me, I also looked at, like, uh, what's it called? The description? Oh wait, no, not the not the description. The captions. Because like the uh, the pictures she showed me, I think were were they on Instagram? Uh, basically there were like captions in the post, and I th I think I remember seeing something along the lines like, uh, this is an artist rendition of the 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 place we wanted to go to, and I was really confused because like. Then the priest said that it was open, and and I was like, uh, I are you really sure it's open? And it's like, yeah, it's probably open. Like, I mean, there's a picture of it, and I was like, okay, fine, okay then, Let, let's go then. So uh, we made our way there <laughs> and stuff, and uh, oh, what do you know? The place wasn't even open yet. <laughs> and we you know like um. Actually, it cannot even open yet because um, the building itself hasn't even finished construction. <laughs> so like um, when we went to the place, it was literally just like a literally right in the middle of construction. There's literally nothing for us to see, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I guess I probably should have expected this, but uh, oh well. All right, and after that. 
Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, after that, uh, we went to, you know, uh, go get some lunch. Because like by the time we got to that place, uh, it was probably around two to three p.m. Yeah, and we're like starving because we literally haven't ate anything in the morning other than like a a few pieces of bread. Because we thought the place would have been open and we were planning on eating there at the place, but it was closed. It's, it hasn't even opened yet, so uh, we had to go to another place to eat. And <laughs> I guess we were kind of lucky that day. Because um, it just so happened to be like a... I think one day during the weekend. The weekend. Um, we went to this... How, how, do I, how should I describe this? This area? <laughs> We were trying to find a restaurant and stuff, but uh, after looking around, uh, the time we got there, it was like a two to three, right? And basically, almost all of the restaurants were closed, other than like two to three, which which wasn't a lot. <laughs> so we didn't really have a choice. Uh, I'm not sure I heard if I heard correctly, but did you say you and a priest, Law? Yeah, yeah, I said me and. Like, um, I, I, uh, <laughs> like, you know how I'm a nun and stuff? So, like, uh, it's, it's kind of awkward explaining this. <laughs> but it's basically, I'm a nun. Like, you can see here, my character. And, yeah, the priest is the priest. My, uh, father. So I prefer not to call him that. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, the priest and I, uh, we went to this Japanese restaurant. Yeah, we went to this Japanese restaurant, and uh, it it kind of looks like a what's it called? An izakaya. Izakaya. Wait, hold on. Let me get a picture of it for you guys. Uh, izakaya. Uh, Google? Wait, I don't want to look at the maps. Give me images. Uh... Wait, which is it? Which would be a good picture? Eh... Uh, I guess this is a good picture. Let me copy this. Copy. And paste. Oh, it's really tiny. Okay, let me increase this. Yeah, the place kind of looks something like this, but like we weren't sitting on the floor. There was actual uh, higher normal tables and chairs and stuff. But it kind of looked like something along the lines like this, the Japanese restaurant. And yeah, so we went inside and ordered our food and stuff. Actually, no, uh, before we order our food, we have to look at the menu, right? Yeah, so <laughs> here, here's the, here's the, here comes the big problem. Um, everything in that Japanese restaurant uh, was hella freaking expensive. <laughs> like compared to what I normally eat, like um, the normal price range I eat at, it's a uh, probably two times cheaper compared to the restaurant we we ate at that day. The restaurant was seriously expensive. Say like um. Uh, like, I don't know, example, you normally eat stuff for like, uh, $10 or something. But then the restaurant, uh, that makes the exact same food. Uh, it charges it, uh, like, I don't know, 40 or $30. <laughs> it was just that expensive, like, ridiculously expensive. Like, uh, wait, how do I convert this to dollars? Uh... I think like the soup, like, like you know like a uh, just normal soup, like a miso soup and stuff. Like the miso soup at that restaurant, it cost like um probably triple or double the amount of what you actually buy in a normal Japanese restaurant. <laughs> it's just it was like a rip off, you know. And uh, unfortunately, we had to uh, get the cheapest thing on the menu. <laughs> like I literally uh only order a bowl of rice with like 
uh, some meat and eggs inside of it. And like uh, the priest, he ordered... Who did he order? I think he ordered some meat or something. And then there was something with, I don't know, kimchi. I don't know why there was kimchi at a Jap Japanese restaurant, but... <laughs> that's not the point. Jesus, that does sound really expensive. But I guess the food would be insanely good then. Okay. This is also uh, the worst part. <laughs> um, you all thought it was expensive. The... I wouldn't say the food was bad, but the food wasn't really good either, you know? It, it's just like, meh. Like, and in my opinion as well, uh, it doesn't taste as good compared to uh, the normal Japanese restaurants like eat at. It's just like a bit... It tastes a bit bad compared to that, to what I normally eat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he kind of got scammed. <laughs> so I guess it was kind of a fault for not looking at the menu before we went into the restaurant. Because like, you guys know like normally there's a menu at the outside of restaurants, right? Like they show you like, uh, what's uh, what we have to offer and like, what's the price like and stuff. We didn't look at any of that and we just went inside. <laughs> Oh my god, wait, this looks really cute. Oh, I'm in love. Wait, let me make this bigger. Let me make the hat a bit bigger. Actually, maybe should I... Maybe I should just stay at this size. Mini hat. Yeah, that's cute too, but uh... This original size is better, I guess. Okay. First slime done, I guess? <laughs> Uh oh, I'll just leave it like this for now. I can always come back to it later. Okay. So yeah, that's basically about what happened that day. <laughs> uh, pretty unlucky, I would say. Yeah. Let me end on slime here. Oh! Oh wait, it looks kind of cool without lines. Oh. Wait, hold on. Let me make another folder. <laughs> As you guys can see, uh, my folders and my layers, and the way I name layers is definitely a uh, pretty weird. <laughs> the sign really fits the clown theme now. Yeah, I I'm I'm glad. <laughs> I'll be really sad if it didn't. <laughs> uh, oh wait, let's do a red sign. Let's do, let's go. Oh, maybe I can make this one like kind of squash. <laughs> Like, it got stuck on something. Oh, it kind of looks like ice cream. I can't have an ice cream slime. Wait, hold on. Ice cream slime. Let me draw that before I forget. Uh... Do this. This. And the trip. <laughs> the slime has some trip. And... Okay, that, that's good enough for now. I'll work on- I'll work a bit more on it later. Oh yeah, by the way, Squishy, has anything like that uh, hap ever happened to you? Like, you go to a really expensive restaurant, but the food there just isn't worth it. Isn't worth the price at all. Has that ever happened to you guys? <laughs> I, I would love to know. Like, uh, share experiences, bonds over. <laughs> Really expensive restaurants with shit food. <laughs> uh, wait, let me let me look at Google Circus. Uh, circus. What else is in the circus other than clowns and stuff? Oh, maybe there could be a sign dressed up as a lion. Yeah, that could work. Oh, like cosplaying as an animal. <laughs> oh, there's a cannonball. Oh. There's also... Oh, balloon slime. What about balloon slime? That would be cool. Let me make another quick sketch. This shall be a purple slime. Uh, 
it, it's gonna be round, probably round, and it's like this. <laughs> and I'm gonna get back to later. Uh, what should I do for the squash slime? Uh, where I live, all restaurants have their prices on the menu, so you know the price before. Ah, so does that mean that has never happened to you before? Lucky. Uh, before you order, ah. I mean, like the the menus over here, they also have the prices as well. But <laughs> I I just didn't look at it before uh we entered the restaurant. That way. <laughs> Wait, hold on, what song is this? Oh, it's from Haikyuu. The opening for Haikyuu. Uh, nope. I also usually read some reviews of the restaurants I go to. Ah, that, that's probably a good idea to be honest. I've actually never done that before, I think. I never really looked at uh, reviews before I go to restaurants. <laughs> Though maybe it's because uh, I don't really go outside often. Because like, you know, the priest. The priest and stuff. And like, uh, I don't like going outside anyways. Uh, I mean, it's not like I hate going outside. It's like, going outside every once in a while, it's like, yeah, that's nice. But I don't want to go outside like all day, every day. Because, you know, that can get, gets, like, kind of tiring after a while. And, like, I don't know, like, uh... Is it just me, or, like, uh... Like, after you've been outside for too long... You just kind of... Get really drained. Like, physically. Your body is just like, I wanna go home, I wanna go sleep! I wanna go rest and become, become a rock. I just stay still and not... Not move a muscle. Uh, I know what you mean. I do enjoy being home a lot. Ah, yes, one of my people. <laughs> We're maybe both introverts, I guess. Yeah, introverts unite. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. If only going outside wasn't that tiring, I'd probably like to go outside more. Speaking of going outside, I actually haven't like a gone like a proper vacation in quite a while. Actually, I don't think I've gone a like, proper vacation for like years. Yeah, years because like you know, you know pa the pandemic and stuff, and like uh, I just really never got the uh, the opportunity to. If that makes sense, yeah. No, I guess I'm not too bummed out about it, but like, it would still be nice to go on vacation. But now, uh, it's probably a bit hard to go on one. Because, you know, uh, how, how do I say this? Alright, I have the, uh, currently I'm busy with uh, my school's art exhibition. Like, the one I'm making stickers for right now. It's actually for the art exhibition at my school. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm probably gonna be quite busy also, like, uh, during the second half of the year, with, like, school stuff. Uh, because, like, you know, I'm an art student. I guess it's a, a universal experience for art students. You're just, like, you're never gonna be free, <laughs> fully free, because you're either gonna be doing a bunch of homework and, like, uh, <laughs> and stuff. And a bunch of deadlines to catch up on. I usually have the rule where if I travel, it has to be a completely different ex wait different culture I travel to to experience new stuff. Oh, that's good. Wait, so that means you've gotten to travel out of your country? Uh, I also love warm places. So I went to Dubai last time with a uni classmate. Oh, nice. How was Dubai like? I've only heard like a Dubai has like the world's tallest building or something. I actually don't know much about the culture itself. Okay, would it? Would you believe if I tell you like a? Uh, I've actually never been to other countries before. <laughs> like uh, literally none. 
uh, like I've actually been in my uh, own country for literally my entire life up until now. Uh, the most I've traveled to is to uh, what's it called states, other states in my country. I think they're called states. Uh, and yeah, that that's basically it. <laughs> I never gotten a chance to go overseas. Like, all right, I could, I've could gotten like the chance to go to Australia. Uh, like a few years ago, like e I even had a passport ready and everything. Like a uh, uh, the priest, like his sister, like he, I uh, know, <laughs> she asked me if like, oh, do you want to convert to Australia? Like uh, or you can you can even study here so if you want to. And I was like, oh hell yeah, I want to go there. I want to go overseas, absolutely. A and then like a. Uh, I could have thought gone there, but the priest was like, No, you shall not go overseas. No, because I'm scared you're gonna die or something. <laughs> yeah, the, the priest is a really big worry ward. Wait, wor worry ward. <laughs> I guess you guys cannot pronounce my W's. Oh my god. Oh my god, I, I do not. <laughs> This is a sudden realization for me. Oh, maybe it can be. I don't even know what I'm drawing for this right now. <laughs> oh, that could be ice cream on the head. Ah, oh, that would be cute. Oh, ice cream on the head. Like I don't know. Uh, use this color as a comb. Oh. And the flame is melting for some reason. <laughs> uh, going overseas for a semester is honestly a nice and learning full experience. Yeah, I can imagine that. Well, especially since like it's a new culture and stuff, completely new experience like what you said earlier. Wait, how's the food at Dubai? How's the food? Like, actually, what kind of foods are there at Dubai? <laughs> Uh, I actually have no idea. Uh, hold on, let me look, let me look at. Let me go Google. To buy food. Oh wait, hold on. What's this? Uh. Oh wait, is that fries? Oh, eggs. Is that is that fish? Oh, it looks pretty good. Uh, what's this? Is that a salad? I see. It's a bunch of fish and stuff as well. Looks really nice. I would like to try that someday, if possible. Uh, but that's that for you, overprotective. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but like um, the priest, he's just like a how to say this. Uh, I guess it's like too overboard. In my opinion, definitely too overboard. Especially you're a female, haha. Well, well, yeah, I guess. I, I guess that's a good point. I mean, like, Austria is pretty scary. <laughs> well, I mean, like, all the bugs and stuff. Uh, that's some of the things I'm worried about. If I do go to Australia one day, the bugs. I'm really scared of bugs. <laughs> Uh, so in Dubai, there's a lot of multicultural food. This Dubai is rich with tourism. Otherwise, their native food is Arabic and Indian stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. Oh, no wonder I saw stuff like a. Uh, from what I Google Google earlier, there's a. I think some stuff with like chili. Like this red chili, pasty looky looking thing. I also have some of that in my country as well. I think. I'm not sure. Uh, when I went to Dubai, I went, I ate Thai, Phil, Japanese and Indian food and so on. Oh, that's quite the variety. I'm, I'm pretty surprised. That's pretty diverse. I ate something different each day. <laughs> it must be nice. I'm getting to try like food from all different kinds of culture every day and stuff. I don't like the food was good as well, right? That's even better. Man, I, I really, after talking about this, I really do want to go overseas one day. 
like a probably i guess japan will be one of the places i would like to visit but you know <laughs> of course it's a must visit for a week and like uh i guess finland norway and uh the usa uk uh australia new zealand uh where else korea uh china uh what else is there uh oh yeah i guess the philippines as well yeah and i guess that's that's about it for now <laughs> otherwise i'm just gonna end up listing all of the countries in the ha in the entire world <laughs> yeah well if i had to pick a place i would like i would like to visit right now Probably Japan. Uh, actually, you know, it would be like a tie between between uh, Japan, and Norway, slash Finland. Yeah. Uh, you should consider Norway too. Actually, beautiful nature there. If you're into that stuff, yeah. Wait, hold on. Uh, it's Norway. I I don't like get uh. It's mixed up, so let me just go Google to confirm it. <laughs> oh, well, oh wait, Norway has like the the what's it called, the aurora borealis thing, that 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 thing in the sky. Ah, <laughs> oh. ah oh, right. This is so the one that's like a bunch of colorful houses, right? Uh, next to the ocean, I think. Oh my god. Oh my god, I definitely want to go here one day. Yeah, it looks like... It looks like something that came out of like a... A movie or something. But then like, it's actually a real place. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, yep. And beautiful mountains and lakes. Yeah, for sure. Like, they're definitely very pretty. Holy hell. So pretty. Man. Oh, wait, the music. Oh, yeah, it goes fight. Wait, what layer is this? Oh. Let me just make another layer. And... Maybe we have half a healthy face. Oh. It's that. Let me just make you more squash. Actually, we know that that's not cute anymore. Too squashed. Uh, how do I make how do I make you more clown-like? I guess I'd probably add sprinkles on the ice cream itself. Uh, pink sprinkles? Yeah. Okay. Actually, we know that doesn't stand out. White sprinkles. Uh, this this this. Wait, that doesn't look good. This? This? Okay. Uh, one more here. Okay, that's that's good enough. I think... Actually, you know, it kind of looks weird with the sprinkles. Never mind. Uh, it's funny because I live close to Norway, Denmark. Yeah, here in Denmark, we have no mountains at all. It's hella flat here. <laughs> wait, what? Wait, wait, is that real? Wait, like, um... But, but, are, is, but you said you live close to Norway, right? So should it... Should it like uh, places near Norway have like really nice mountains as well? Why, why, why is it flat there? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let me go... Denmark. Oh, wait. Denmark scenery. Oh, yo, this is also quite pretty. This is also like the houses near the near river kind of thing. Oh, oh, it is kind of fun. Uh, the one like the picture I'm seeing like a just like a beach next to some place, and I think there's like a city slash village behind it. Oh, yo, this mountain is pretty. Oh, 
Wait, what's this? Oh! This is like next to the ocean and it's quite flat as well. Another plains. It's quite- it's still quite pretty though. Oh. Faroe Islands. Oh my god. Everything is so pretty, man. Uh, good question. Both of us, Norway, uh, has mountains, and south of us, Germany, also has mountains. Yet us in the middle of both, flat. <laughs> Wait, uh... I, I, uh... Can I, can I say this? <laughs> that's not me, that's not me, um... Like, like, you know, since, um... Like, how I described it? There's a mountain, and then another mountain here. Wait, hold on. Another mountain here, and then the middle, flat. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, isn't that like booba? <laughs> booba. Booba. Wait, hold on. This. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, I know exactly what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Uh, the mom, yep, guessed it. <laughs> I mean, like, like, like you, you cannot blame me for thinking that, you know, like, from the way you described it. <laughs> like, like, yet yeah, us in the middle of both flat. <laughs> it, it's, am I wrong? <laughs> am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I dare you. This is literally booba. Oh wait, where's the layer again? Ah, okay, right here. <laughs> uh, can I just leave, leave the slime like this? <laughs> oh wait, cotton candy slime. Wait, hold on. Cotton candy slime. Gonna make you white. It's alright, we're both degenerate weeps. <laughs> yes, we <Weeps> unite. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna leave the ice cream like that. And what's this? Oh, it's, a, it's the balloon. Uh, the balloon. How do I make a slime into a balloon? <laughs> I never thought I would ask myself that question in my uh, entire life. How do I make a slime like a balloon? <laughs> uh, big, 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 big guys. That's too big. Oh, maybe it can be winking. Yeah, the... <laughs> oh, wait. Do this smile, yeah. <laughs> Uh, let me go look up uh, circus balloons. Circus balloon. Uh, well, normally circus balloons are pretty colorful, actually. They mainly come in like red, white, and yellow, and blue, and stuff. I think but purple. <laughs> oh, there's all striped ones as well. I guess at most I can just make this stripe. Ooh, would that help? Um, but I drew everything on the same layer. Man. I guess I gotta real, get rid of the face. Hi. Okay. Uh, this. Uh. Maybe the lines are too thin. Maybe I can make it thick. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess that's uh, okay. <laughs> uh, now what does it look like after I add a face on it? Oh wait, it's too slanted. A smile. Ah, okay. Uh, do this. And do this. Oh, maybe I have a thing pop on, popping out of its head. <laughs> Uh, wait, hold on. Let me get this purple color. Uh huh. And uh, does that look kind of weird? Uh, maybe I can add some yellow here. I kind of um, the the what's it called? The <laughs> the dangly things. <laughs> the dangly things. I don't know what they call. Uh, the, these things. <laughs> Uh, maybe I can add another one, another sign balloon, or uh, maybe I can just leave it like this. Yeah, you know what? I'm leaving it like this for now. <sighs> oh yeah, by the way, uh, would you guys be interested if I did a Duolingo stream, like a Japanese Duolingo stream? Like, uh, I've actually been thinking about doing. A Duolingo stream for quite a while now, quite a while now actually. Like uh, I think yeah, I think I first thought of the idea like a few weeks ago actually, <laughs> many many weeks ago. Like oh, I want to do a Japanese Duolingo stream and uh attempt uh, attempt to speak in Japanese. I don't know, <laughs> but like my my Japanese isn't that good of a level yet. To like fully speaking, <laughs> like a, uh, it's not bad, but it's not a good idea. It's like um, somewhere in between. Like a, uh, I can barely understand what they're saying. Like a, uh, probably about forty percent in a normal conversation. Like the, the main gist of the conversation, kinda. I can't understand about forty percent of it. And my grammar. Where is grammar? <laughs> grammar doesn't exist. Like my grammar is just like awful. <laughs> uh, the, I think the only grammar I've learned is like a Watashi wa blah 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 and uh Watashi ga blah 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 or something. <laughs> and then there was like a what? I could swear I learned some before but I forgot about it. Uh, Yeah, I completely forgot everything. <laughs> I completely forgot. Oh well. Like the funniest part is that uh, I'm actually part of a club at my school. Uh, where it's like a you learn Japanese at the club. Yeah. <laughs> That's the funniest part about this. And I don't remember anything from the grammar other than the most basic ones. Oh my god, that is cute. Uh, go for it. Sounds like it'd be fun. Okay, okay then. Uh, I'm planning on maybe, maybe doing the Duolingo stream tomorrow, maybe on Monday, perhaps. But I'm not too sure yet. Uh, I guess you you guys will know when I uh update my schedule. You guys will know if there's any changes. Alright, speaking of schedule, I should probably... I probably need to make one after the stream as well. Ah, for the, for the next week. Oh well. I guess that's just something you have to do when you're, you're a VTuber. <laughs> God, your schedules. Oh, this time's gonna be sleepy, yeah. I like this. And this one's gonna have a dumb smile. And this one is... <laughs> Like this. Oh wait, I need to add a sparkly. Oh, that's way too big. Uh, do this. Do this. And this one is closing its eyes. Okay. Oh wait, I just had a really cute idea. Hold on. What color should I use? I guess purple slash pink or whatever this is. 
I'm gonna add a little hat, a circus hat thing. I actually don't know what, don't know what it's called. Like you guys know like the kind of hat that Jester's wear? That one? Uh, hold on, let me just draw. So you guys will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> like this one. <laughs> this hat. Right here. This one. <laughs> Adorable. Okay. Uh, let me save. Okay. Hmm. I guess this is good enough for now. I'm just uh, trying to get some ideas off my head right now. This isn't the finalized product yet. Uh, Okay, now this cotton candy slime. <laughs> it doesn't even look like slime. It's just like a. It's just like a fluffy thing. Uh, it has multiple names. A fool, a fool's hat, or a joker hat. Oh, okay. So I guess that's what it's called. Okay. I'm learning a bunch of new stuff today. <laughs> Thank you for the information. Um. Do this. Oh. Wait, hold on, the eyes need to be bigger. Big. Big. That's too high up. Like this. And, uh... Can, maybe they can be crying. <laughs> uh... We have too many sad slimes, we need to balance it out. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can be opening your mouth. Like, ah. Like this. Maybe put some red. Uh, oh, hold on. <laughs> I need to fix this. Oh, uh, this is good enough. Okay. Uh, how do I show that you're cotton candy? What does cotton candy even look like? It's just a fluffy thing, right? Cotton candy. Uh, cotton candy. Oh yeah, by the way, have you guys ever ate uh tried cotton candy before? Because uh, <laughs> guess what? I also never tried it before. I never tried cotton candy. Like uh, I've seen it before in real life, but I actually never gotten to try it. So I guess you can say it's thanks to the priest that I didn't, I didn't try one before because like um. When I saw cotton candy for the first time in real life, uh, I wanted to try it. I was like, "Hey, can I can I eat the cotton candy?" And the priest was like, "No. After you eat it, your teeth, all your teeth is gonna fall out, <laughs> and it's not gonna grow back." And I was like, "Oh shit. Okay, you know what? Never mind. I don't want it anymore." <laughs> and I just missed out on my only chance that I could have tried cotton candy. My only my only chance. I literally only saw it like that one time. Where I live, I never saw it again since. That stuff is gone one minute if it's in my hat. <laughs> Wait, so you just you just like inhale the cotton candy, like stop. <laughs> inhale, inhale it like Kirby or something. <laughs> Wait, but like it looks like isn't co doesn't cotton candy like take a long time to eat it? Because like, um, I assume that, uh, how, how to say this, like, um, since it's like fluffy looking, right, uh, I assume like it's gonna be, actually I don't know how to describe it, <laughs> basically I, I, my impression on cotton candy is that like it will take a long time to consume it. Uh, when you eat it, it legit melts into your mouth into nothing, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I guess my impression was really far off. Uh, so we eat really fast. It's a lot of fluff. Oh, okay. Wait, so it's basically like ice cream. Like if you don't eat it fast enough, it's gonna melt. But like this is fluffy ice cream. <laughs> fluffy cream? Wait, no, it's not even cream. It's like fluffy fluff. <laughs> You're eating clouds. Uh... Oh, cotton candy is more 
uh, how do I say this? It's longer compared to what I've drawn here. It's like a let me just try to copy the shape. It's kind of like a this kind of shape ish. Yeah, kind of like this. I need to get off the face. Hi. Okay. Yeah, it kind of looks something like, and there's like a stick poking out of the bottom. Uh, let me just make this a bit smaller. It's taking too much space. Uh, what color should I use for a stick? Maybe red. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll, I'll make it red and then make it a uh, striped. Red. And then yellow stripes. Yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, put it there. Stay. Uh, it's not creamy. It's more like how to describe it. More, s more like small hair than the hot. <laughs> small hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's the first time I've ever heard someone describe cotton candy as small hairs. <laughs> that melt. <laughs> Okay, it sounds disgusting when you describe it like that. It really does. <laughs> oh wait, isn't there like a another type that's also kind of like cotton candy called the dragon spear or something? But it actually looks like hair that I can eat. Oh, let me get a picture of it. Uh, dragon, dragon spear. Oh wait. <laughs> Do you guys know what I just type? I just type dragon's dragon's bread. <laughs> dragon's bread. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, uh okay, hold on. Picture uh Which would be a good picture? Oh, I guess this one. Uh this this seriously looks like hair that you can eat. But it's, it's, it's actually not hair. Okay, hold on. Uh, paste. And... Make it big. Yeah, this is a uh, dragon's beard. Dragon's beard candy. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 this kind of looks like cotton candy plus hair, doesn't it? Wait, is it, is it actually made out of the same thing? Uh, dragon's bread. <laughs> Dragon's beer actually looks close to cotton candy, both visually and texture. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I heard you said bread, I wrote bread is not beer. <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> my uh, my typo is spreading. <laughs> uh, this, this reminds me of uh, uh, I have a friend of mine that uh, that frequently makes a lot of typos. They don't make it as often now. Like uh, their typos have reduced significantly <laughs> compared to before. But like uh, <laughs> each time they make a typo, I like to make fun of them for it. Like by making fun, I like I just repeat what they say. Like uh, for example, like uh, beard as bread, and they type bread instead. It's like oh yeah, bread is very tasty. <laughs> Dragon's beard very tasty. Yum. <laughs> And then it's like, ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> Shut up. You saw nothing. I type, I type beer, not bread. <laughs> yeah, it's basically something like that. <laughs> right, it's it's kind of unfortunate that I kind of, uh, you know, keep your typos again. Well, like, not as often anymore. Oh, yes. Wait, what, what song is this called again? Uh, I'll write Kai Kaibutsu from Beastars. I love this OP so much, even though I never watched the anime before. You know what I'm gonna give this cat use? 
Oh wait, no, I'm gonna get a bunny. Screw it. <laughs> oh, let me put the ears closer so it's cute. Yeah. Uh, what kind of face should it have? Actually, maybe it's just too tall. The cotton candy. <laughs> the cotton candy is too tall. Uh, oh wait, no. Wrong layer. Uh, just like shrink it. I think it's a good size. Yeah, okay, that's a good size. Okay, uh... Oh wait, I need to get this. Hello? Mm -hmm. Okay, cut the candy. What kind of fish shell does have? <laughs> oh, can you just have no expression? Oh, you, only, you only have eyes. <laughs> and you, have, you don't have a mouth. Because like, you're just cotton candy, you don't deserve a mouth. Okay. Do this. Uh, okay, maybe, you know what? Maybe you can, maybe you can have blushies. Oh. Wait, where are the blushies? Ah, okay. Like... Like this? Yeah! <laughs> Alright! Oh, you, you can see cotton candies in, at circuses, right? Okay, wait, you know what? Maybe you can do like... Oh, wait, why do you not think about this sooner? Alright, at circuses, I can also do like a... Uh, like those toy things. And like the food. Like, this is a whole lot. I think I'm onto something. Circus food. Circus food. Uh, none of this is what I wanted to see. Oh, oh macarons. Oh. Okay, what's this? Hot dog. Eh, uh, cupcake. Cupcake slime? That could work. But all this could be uh, food themed instead. <laughs> Mm. There's like a steam mustard and ketchup. Okay. Oh my god, that looks terrifying. I just came across like um some food art, like using vegetables to make a like they made a clown using some vegetables. It looks really ty terrifying. Oh wait, is this all popcorn at circuses? I think. Ah. Probably do popcorn. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, use the yellow. Mm, okay. Let me increase my brush size. It's too small. Uh, how to draw popcorn? It's like a bunch of bunch of circle things. <laughs> uh, make another layer. And then make a box shape. It looks like it's more like McDonald's fries right now. I want to eat McDonald's. I want to eat McDonald's. Oh yeah. Um, wait, speaking of McDonald's, I. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> oh wait, oops. Skip. Uh. Okay, let's go. Okay, so my random question was, before I got interrupted, was, uh, what are you guys' favorite McDonald's food? Like, what's your, like, your, the stuff you usually order when you go to McDonald's? Uh, like, for me, I usually order, what was it called? Uh, or I usually order the same burger almost all the time. <laughs> I, I always order, like, uh, this one called, uh, Spicy Mac Chicken Deluxe, this one. <laughs> Uh, spicy match chicken deluxe. Uh, but like, there was also a point when I was a point of time when I was younger. Uh, probably 
ever when I was a kid and uh, up until when I was 12. Like I, I always ate the same same thing whenever I went to McDonald's, the same burger. It's called the what's it called? Ah, fillet fillet or fish. <laughs> like it's actually a burger of just like one fish in the middle and like some mayonnaise. Wait, it is mayonnaise, right? The the white thing. The white thing is called mayonnaise, right? But yeah, that's the thing I always order when I go to McDonald's. But now it's changed. I've loved up, leveled up. I've graduated from uh, the filet fish And I changed to uh, <laughs> ordering Mac Chicken Deluxe all the time. Like, literally all the time, like, you know. <laughs> Except for, like, you know, uh, during the New Year's. Uh, I don't know if you guys have it or not, but, like, over where I live, uh, during the New Year's, like, January and stuff, uh, they have, like, a special burger there. I forgot what it's called, but basically they have the special burger during the New Year's. And that's the only time I don't eat that same burger. <laughs> that's actually the only time. Oh wait, the music. The music, come on. Come on. Yeah, Genshin. Let's go. Yeah. What do you usually order, Squishy? What do you usually order at McDonald's? I'm curious to know. Wait, hold on. I need to clip this and then do the lines. Yeah, okay, wait. The lines here are too fat. Uh, do this. This and this. Okay. Looks like popcorn. Yeah. And... I should probably put the face on the... The, the what's it called? The packaging of the popcorn. And not on the face... Uh, on the popcorn itself. That would be kind of creepy. Um... It's been a very long time since I've been at McDonald's. It's been like three to four years. Holy damn! <laughs> are, you, are you trying? Are you trying to compete with like one of my other friends? Uh, I have another um a friend of mine, uh, an overseas friend. Like um, I don't remember from the last time he told me. Uh, he told me he hasn't e eaten a burger for like ten plus years straight. A bug. He's never eaten a burger for 10 plus years straight, you know? <laughs> like, he's he's ate a burger before, but he hasn't ate it for like 10 plus years. But I'm not sure how many years it, it would be right now. I guess it's been quite, quite a while since I last talked to him. <laughs> but like 10 plus years! I cannot imagine going like a year without a burger. I also usually order filet or fish when I ate there. Ah, good choice, good choice. I mean, like, it's really tasty. Yeah, I, I, it seems like we have similar taste then. Yeah, I... I do eat burgers, just not at McDonald's. Since they are better options in my opinion. Ah, okay. Wait, then where do you eat burgers at though? Like, uh... Burger King? I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know any other fast food chains with burgers other than Burger King <laughs> Because there's actually not too many fast food chains from where I live Like, yeah, that's McDonald's, Burger King, uh, KFC, the, the, the famous ones But like, I'm not sure if there's a Taco Bell here or not I don't think there is yeah, I don't think we have a Taco Bell, Taco Bell at where I live. Yeah. It's only just like the famous ones. Uh... Face. Ah, it, it, it can just like be smelling. Mayo. Uh, do this? Wait. Why, why, why does it look so weird? <laughs> okay, do this face. The smiley face. Okay, maybe I should give uh, the cotton candy an actual face. It looks kind of weird without it. I'm gonna give it a surprise face. Uh, like whoa! I can add sparkles next to it. Like this, yeah. It's now it's cute. Okay. Uh, should I draw more? I think that could be enough though. Uh, uh, we 
we have some local restaurants here that make burgers which aren't fast food and aren't too expensive. Oh, okay. Wait, they're not fast food, so does that mean like... Uh, there's vegetables and stuff? And like tomatoes, cheese and stuff? Uh, and they honestly taste infinitely better than fast food burgers. Oh, really? Like, what's inside the, uh, the burgers then? Like, because the only burgers I've ever eaten are like the fast food ones. Because I, you know, that's not much of a choice I can choose from over here. The only burgers I can eat in my area are just fast food ones. Oh wait, hold on. Okay. Actually, you know what? wait, hold on. I need to hydrate myself. I'm thirsty. Nice water. <clears throat> uh, yes, real ingredients. <laughs> real ingredients. Um, it's usually the same ingredients as fast food burgers. It's just that the ingredients they use actually uh, are fresh and are made in a factory. Ah, okay. Also, like, everything is like completely fresh. Like, um, like how the hell does it say? Uh, like they get the ingredients for like the the market and stuff like completely 100% fresh and like from local farms and stuff I mean that's pretty good, that's pretty good I wonder what a, a proper burger would taste like <laughs> the ones that aren't uh, made in a factory wait I mean like <laughs> ingredients from a factory is what I meant to say <laughs> not burgers from a factory uh, wait, hold on, let me open another file. Uh, open this. Oh, wait, no, not this. Where is it? Uh, oh, I think it's over here. Oh, open. Open. Yep. Okay. Uh, now let me get rid of this. I just needed a canvas size. <laughs> and I got copy. Copy this. Oh. Wait, where's the other sign? Is it here? Oh, yeah, it's in that layer. Copy. Paste. Oh, I need to resize everything because everything is too big. Ah. Yep. Okay, let me look background so I can see properly. Mm hmm. And resize everything. Uh -huh. Oh, that's too tiny. <laughs> okay. I think there should be enough uh, stickers here, I think. I'm not sure. Let me merge this. Merge selected. Uh, pull these off the folder. Get rid of the folder. And need to change the some settings. Okay. Actually, wait, I need to make everything bigger as well because uh, everything is kind of small right now. Okay. Increase. Uh, yeah, this is big enough. Okay, perfect. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, quick question. Uh, oh wait, hold on, let me say first. Uh, sticker stickers. Uh, safe. Okay, so uh, my question was, uh, do you guys think that I speak too fast? Like uh, my normal, regular talking speed? Like, is it, is it too fast? <laughs> because like a... Uh, how do I say this? Uh, like, you know, after I finish my streams, I... I usually, uh, after I finish out my streaming, I... Usually watch like a few minutes of my stream. Like, uh, you know, like, you know, like, you know, just for a few minutes and see how, like, the stream is actually like. <laughs> like, see if there's any, uh, audio issues or anything. And, like, uh, if my commentary is good enough. And, or if, it, or if it's too fast and stuff. Because, like, uh, 
uh, from what I s uh, seen yesterday in my Omri stream, I feel like I kind of talk a bit too fast in that stream. <laughs> so, uh, I was really talking really fast. And right now, I'm really trying to... to uh, slow myself down and like give myself time to process and think my... Uh, wait, process my thoughts properly before I say what I want to say. Because like, uh, normally I just like uh, say everything really fast because I want to get a... Uh, how do I say this? I want to... Uh, get everything off my brain as fast as I can, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> Otherwise, I would forget about it. Or like, um... I guess it's also kind of out of my habit as well, my regular habit. Like in real life. <laughs> uh... Nah, it's fine. Uh, believe me, hearing your own voice never sounds normal. I have the same problem, I'm not. <laughs> ah, okay. But to others, it sounds fine. Okay, that, that's a, that's good to hear then. But I do still think that I speak a bit too fast. In my opinion. Like, um... Like, to me, uh, in that Omar stream, it sounded like I was trying to rush talking. <laughs> like, I was in a rush to get somewhere or something. Like, from the pace of my talking. <laughs> like, I thought it was, like, just too fast. And, uh, yeah. I'm really trying to make an... Uh, make a conscious effort to sell my talking. So I can also... Uh, not have like... Not having to go like, uh, uh, every few seconds. <laughs> and just speak in like a, you know, a normal manner. Okay, uh... I think I should probably... Need to add... Oh wait, actually... Actually, this might be perfect, wait. This might be the perfect amount. Yo, wait, hold on. I might need to shrink everything though. Let me save. Uh, I need to get some of the folder properties from this file over here. <laughs> what I'm saying right now probably doesn't make sense right now, but uh, I, I have no idea how you're supposed to explain it. Uh. I like, you guys see like the outlines over here? Yeah, basically, uh... The, 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 uh, this layer property you guys see here, like this. Uh, basically, you can select like, uh, the edge, the edges of the drawing. Like, basically, this thing here. You can set how much you want it to be. And I'm just gonna copy the properties, if that makes sense. Uh, how thick is this? 35. Okay. Wait, 35. Uh, I need to make another folder. And another folder. <laughs> okay. Uh, edge. 35. Okay. And here comes the magic. Yeah. Wait, I need to copy this uh, exact color as well. This grey. Copy that. Go back over here. Uh, wait, how thick was the grey lines? Five. Okay, five. Uh, do this. Make it five. Make it grey colour. Yeah, perfect. Oh yeah, this, this is actually the perfect amount of stickers. Yo. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe I'm actually getting something done during stream, oh my god. <laughs> because the... Uh, the stickers here, like this one and the, the the one of the animals, I had to like do it off stream because I was getting distracted. Like uh, in the stream, I couldn't really do anything. <laughs> I guess it's so probably good because like, um, I did have Pinterest with me, so I couldn't look for like, you know, ideas and references. I guess it's a big part of it. Mm. What should I do? There's like an awkward space here in the middle. Uh, I probably need to do more adjusting. Like the... The, 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 the positions. Uh, 
what about here? Oh, that works. But there's this problem again. Yeah? Oh, wait, that kind of... kind of fixes it. Oh... Am I a genius or what? <laughs> but then there's another space here. Eh... Uh, eh... Uh, I... I guess at most I could just draw another thing right here. But I'm not sure what. Oh, what's something that's small enough that could fit in this awkward space here? Or I can move this down here. I can draw another thing over here. Yeah, I think I will. Wait, let me move this. And I'm gonna move everything upward. Oh wait, not everything. No. Okay. Move this layer. Just this layer. Ah, oh, that's too much! Move to... Oh wait, no, that's too much! <laughs> oh, oh wait, stop, 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 Okay. Go here. A bit to the left. To the left. Okay, that, that, that's good. Perfect. Safe. Do you guys have any ideas on what to put in this empty space over here? Wait, hold on, let me... Let me draw this, hold on. This empty space. Right here. Oh. <laughs> right here. The, the red circle there. <sighs> hold on, let me... Let me change the music. Uh, I'm gonna listen to... Oh, where is it? Uh... No, not this one. Wait, chop them up there. Not this one! No, 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 no. Eh... Uh, where is it? Uh... Actually, I don't know what I want to listen to. Eh... Uh, no turn blue one? Mm. Oh, wait, wait, this one, this one. 2.23 AM. Yeah. This is some good shit. Yes. <laughs> okay, uh What to do? Oh, I should probably get the color palettes. Bring the color palette over here. Copy. Paste. Oh, that's huge. Uh, put it in this corner over here. Okay. Eh. Uh, what to do? I guess I could probably draw this time. I mean, this was supposed to be slime thing, I suppose. <laughs> oh. Look, putting purple here look fine. Uh... Yeah, I, can, I, I think I will. Uh... Well, circus food. I could do you like a cupcake? Yeah, I, I think I will. Wait, circus cupcake. Circus cup cupcake. Uh, circus cupcake. What does it look like? And there's a bunch of variety here. Uh, there's also cookies. Oh, this one looks quite cute. Uh, I'll just do like a simple looking cupcake, maybe. Uh, maybe this one can be like a... The, what's it called? The crust? Wait, no, it's not the crust, it's the... The wrapping for the cupcake. The wrapping. And uh, do this. And the cupcake. The cupcake. White. Oh. White with like sprinkles on it. 
Can you see I have like this, this triangle things? Okay. So let's add in like a uh, pink sprinkles. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Oh wait, that's too that's too thin. You gotta make it thick. Uh maybe there can be a cherry. Put some red here, maybe? Oh wait, that's not red. Red right here? That's pretty okay. Maybe I can make some spangles different colored. Mm, like, like this. Yeah, that yeah that, that works. That's good. And I feel like this wrapping could be better. Ah, yeah, that looks much better. Okay, yeah, I gotta go with this. It's just gonna be a random cupcake. <laughs> oh wait, does it be a oh shit, it needs a face. Can this one just be like the cupcake? <laughs> uh hold on. Face. I'll put the face on the cupcake maybe. It's too big. Do this. Do this. And this. This. Okay. Uh maybe I can move the face here. Yeah, okay, that's better. Uh somehow this is still circus steam. Somehow. <laughs> uh Oh, it, it works. Okay, merge everything. And you can go to this folder. And get the outlines. Yeah. It's got scooch a bit over here. Wait, there's still more of that empty space. Uh, what do I do about this? Hold on. Move this. Or maybe I could move this here. And this here? Uh, no, that doesn't quite work. Or I can move the balloon down here. Oh, that, 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 okay, that's good. Put the cupcake here. Ah, uh, but then there's another awkward space. Come on. Let me get rid of the color palette. Oh, right. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. That's pretty good, wait. I think I just solved it. I swear the power of making stickers is just like... The arrangement. The arrangement part of it. Is the one that probably takes the uh, second longest to do. Okay, let me just move everything to the left. A bit more. If can move. Ah, wait. Moving. Uh, maybe just a bit more. Okay, moving to the left. Move some more. Oh, wait, is it even moving? I cannot tell, honestly. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, but the popcorn is a bit too close to the edge. Uh, it's kind of dangerous. Oh wait, no 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 Okay, that's a bit better. I think I'll move uh, the slime over a little bit. Move this over. And move the popcorn in. Move the cupcake closer. Uh okay, perfect. Uh yeah. I think that's pretty good, but I need to move everything to the right again. <laughs> okay. Move it to the right. And save. Oh, that's pretty good. Now, uh, what kind of text should I put here? Snacks? What is snacks in Japanese? 
the Naku. <laughs> Nak in Japanese. Oh yeah, it really is Naku. <laughs> Sunaku. Let me copy. Sunaku. And oh wait, I should probably uh wait before I do I need to increase the saturation of everything. Right, right, right. Because when I print it, it's gonna be uh how do I say this? The colors are gonna be a lot more darker compared to like what we see here. Right, right, right. Uh, do this, merge layers, and then increase. Oh wait, don't do it on this layer. Cancel. And so move it off the layer and increase the saturation and brightness. Uh, snacking a balloon is probably not a good idea. <laughs> uh, good, good point. And uh, probably not on the slime either. <laughs> okay, okay, you know what? Maybe. Who knows? Maybe the the balloon is edible or something. Wait, does do do edible balloons exist? Wait, hold, I'm kind of curious now. Wait, hold on. <laughs> My search history is gonna be so weird. Edible? Edible balloon. <laughs> wait. Wait, guys, wait! Wait, yeah, wait, it actually exists. You can actually eat balloons, what? How to make a floating edible balloon? What? What? These are edible balloons. Huh? The taffy balloon can be eaten on its own or popped, then wrapped around a stick for easy consumption. What? It actually exists. Holy! <laughs> well, I guess you really can't eat the balloon. Uh, well, it's interesting. Well, have you ever eaten an edible balloon before? Have you? <laughs> uh, I, I wonder who... Uh, Decided to think that it was a good idea to make an edible balloon. Like, hey, would it be cool if we could eat balloons? <laughs> was that what they thought when they created it? I I, I wonder. Uh, is this bright enough for the printing? I think it should be bright enough for the printing. Uh, yeah, it's better to make it more brighter and saturated. Like, because like, when you print it out, it's gonna be not as dark. Okay, it's good. I leave like this. An evil person. <laughs> why? Why? Why Why do you think an evil person created a little balloon still? I don't know, maybe they just thought like, oh, since like, there's so many balloons at birthday parties and stuff, why don't we just make them edible? Wouldn't that be good for everyone? <laughs> Uh, and you also, uh, I don't know, uh, be able to recycle the balloons by eating them and serve them to the, uh, to the, 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 the people that come to the party, like, hey, eat the balloon, it's actually edible. <laughs> I wonder if that's actually what happens. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna make the text pink. Oh, snack. Paste it as it's squares. <laughs> it's squares. Just like in Omori yesterday. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me change it to a font that will actually register with Japanese. Um, not this one. Doesn't work. Uh, this? Oh yeah, that's a pretty cute font. Right to make it pink. Uh, this color. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to make it big as well. Others cannot see. Uh, yeah, I think I will use this font actually. It's pretty cute. Quite round and bubbly. Okay. Check. And oh wait, don't move the background. <laughs> Okay, move this text over over here. 
Uh, I feel like this is too close to the bottom. I need to move it upwards. And then move this over here. And put this back in the folder and see how it looks. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's perfect. Yo, that's perfect. Okay, nice. This, uh, this, I guess that's basically what the next batch of stickers is gonna look like. Yeah, okay. Now I just need to do some touch-ups on the... Basically everything here. <laughs> ah, boy. Uh, let's move this folder here. Okay. Uh... Make the palette. I need to delete this. And do you make the actual palette, the, the updated palette here. Uh, okay, increase this. And just start color picking, I guess. Uh, yellow. Red. White. Uh, pink. This purple. Wait, is that it? Wait, I think that's it. Wait, uh, I probably shouldn't put that aside, actually. That's not gonna be saving space. Wait. Wait, do we only really have five colors? Oh, okay then. I'm not complaining. Okay, that's the color palette done. And we just need a... Uh, Oh, what's the word again? I suddenly forgot. <laughs> I just gotta refine everything, yes. Uh, I, I suddenly just like forget some vocab sometimes. Like uh, in, in the moment. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. Brain overload. Uh, okay, it's time to start off. Get this yellow. And do the slime. Oh dear. Oh, what color are the lights? What color? Got to see ya. Uh, I actually made some progress on the stickers here. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Let me show you. And stickers. I actually did something on stream. <laughs> uh, can't stay for tonight. Just had a long day. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> I see, I see. Uh, I feel very tired. Stickers have been good. Thank you. Uh, I hope you have a nice rest then. Rest up, man. Rest up. So you can uh, prepare for more dates in the future. <laughs> Isn't this cute? Like, um... It's supposed to be slime thing, but uh... It turns to random snacks related to the circus. Alright, uh... Wait, hold on. Before you go, uh, wait, hold on. Let me show you the Genshin... The Genshin characters uh, I mentioned, like, the last year. <laughs> Let me show you first. Uh... Let me go back here. Okay, uh, this is one of the first ones. Oh, uh, wait. Increase. Big. Yeah, this is one of my characters. Yeah. <laughs> She's very cute, isn't she? I wasn't lying about how cute they were. Like my children. My daughter. Wait, hold on. The music. The music isn't playing. Ah. Music. Okay. Her name is Tiffany. Oh, I also like um, written out like uh, their descriptions and everything as well. <laughs> like, like I have everything written out in detail. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but hold on. Uh, I even have like a <laughs> all of her information. Her her age, her gender, where she's from, uh, her vision. Uh, what kind of character she would be? <laughs> her friends, her likes and dislikes, and everything here. And there's also three more. Uh, hold on. There's this. Uh, her name is Shona, a Pyro Polom user. Okay. Here she is. Bro, your handwriting is infinitely better than mine. <laughs> Bro, don't say that. I like um, like to be honest, handwriting. 
uh, right here isn't even my proper handwriting. <laughs> It's just like a... I wrote it like a more messily-ish. Like, sure, yours can, can be that bad, right? <laughs> like, this is supposed to be the messy handwriting. But then, yeah, there's Shauna. And she also has her information as well. Hold on. Uh, oh, wait. Big. Sh Shauna Ferris. Uh, female, 16, from Monstart, Pyro Pole Arm, Healer DPS that scales off healing person, blah 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 blah, blah. friends, likes, and dislikes. Monstart's local herb belief. And this one more, last one. Uh, oh wait, before, before that, let me, you guys, uh, let me show you guys this. A picture of Tiffany and Shauna. Yeah. It's them, uh, I don't know what they're doing, they're reading uh, some book. <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, uh, it's probably a book that Tiffany lent to Shauna or something, and she's like, Oh, this is blah blah blah. And then Shauna's like, Oh, okay, I see, I see. <laughs> kind of something like that. And then there's one more. She's also really cute. My cutest child. <laughs> uh, She's a fox girl. Fox girl. Uh, her name is Lil Lil Ririka. Uh, and she's a, what's called, Shy Maiden, f uh, coming from Inazuma. And she has a Geo Vision. vision. Uh, I don't have the full details written out for her yet. It's still a work in progress. Uh, Utsugi Lilika, female, 12 years old, from Inazuma. Geo Vision, uses a sword. She's a tank support, boss team. Uh, Attack and defense, blah blah blah. And Inazuma Shy Maiden, yeah! <laughs> That's it. Uh, does it help I never write by hand anymore since everything. I use computers for everything writing related. Ah, okay. I see, I see. Understandable. Uh, you might see of that little fox from Tokyo, right? Tokyo Raven? Tokyo Raven? What's that? I, I'm gonna go and rise. Okay. Have a wonderful stream, dear. Thank you. I hope we have uh, some nice rest as well. Otherwise, see ya soon. Bye. <laughs> okay, uh, wait, hold on. Let me... Let me get rid of these. <laughs> uh, okay. The pictures. Wait, was there anything else I wanted to show? Oh yeah, uh, this isn't really too important, but, uh... Uh, Sam, I got to best you later. Yeah, sure, okay, I will. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I also made, uh... <laughs> I also made another plushie, uh, a few days ago. It's a bunny plushie. Wait, have I shown this on stream yet? I don't think I have. But, uh, yeah, I made another bunny plushie, yeah! I also made like two more plushies today, <laughs> like two more. Uh, I haven't taken pictures of them yet, but uh, you, you guys get the gist. It's all about the same. <laughs> uh, they're also for the art exhibition as well. Planning on the selling them there at the art, at the art exhibition. And yeah. Okay, now back back to making the stickers <laughs> before I get carried away like last time. Uh, ah. Load the opacity and put back on the background. Save it. <sighs> oh, yeah, by the way, um, like you guys see the Discord reactive image thing that like you see on my model, I literally just uh, implemented that like uh, 10 minutes before the stream started. <laughs> Somehow. I somehow managed to kind of make it in time with the power of Google. <laughs> yeah. And I guess the power of a. Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's not me. Really... Oh, what was the word for it? Uh, the, the power of stress? <laughs> yes. Like, uh, what I mean by that is like. Uh, if you don't get this implemented soon, gonna be late. 
kind of things like me. Oh, I should probably put more stabilization. Make it smoother. Uh, living life on the edge, eh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I, I feel like um, I do things on stream like last minute too often. <laughs> more often than I would like to admit. Uh, like uh. Alright, I think there was one stream. I forgot which one it was, but uh, I, I suddenly decided to want to change my loading screen's BGM for some reason. And I was like, oh, I could probably do it in time before stream starts. And I did it like five minutes before I started. <laughs> and I ended up um, uh, coming late to the stream. Coming late to the stream for like uh, two minutes or something. <laughs> but I guess it's not too big of a deal. It's just like a few minutes. But still, I def definitely should uh, uh, plan out my time better. <laughs> uh, definitely should. Uh, I recently I've been thinking like a uh, how, how do I say this? I've been thinking of making like a, a schedule. Wait, not a schedule. Uh. It's kind of like schedule, but not like a... Wait, how... how do I say this? It's more like... It's not like a proper schedule, it's just like a... Oh... For example, at... 6pm, I eat dinner. And at 7pm, I go to shower. And at 8pm, I start preparing for the stream. And at 9pm, I start streaming and stuff. That's <laughs> what I mean. Like that kind of schedule. Like um, it's not gonna be like the super strict type of schedule or like the super detailed kind. It's just like a an outline, an outline for like oh what I should be doing at this time right now instead of procrastinating and stuff. But I do want to try to stop. Uh, I mean like try to not procrastinate as much. And like put my time to a better use compared to like just a uh, scrolling on YouTube doing nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's something I've been thinking about. Do you guys ever like stick to schedules or like have a set schedule that you stick to, like consistently? <laughs> have you guys ever done that? Like uh, oh, I feel so. I've also made a. It's not really. It's not really a schedule. <laughs> it's not really a schedule either. But um, I have a uh, this homework thing due that's like due in three weeks, I think. But I basically, I have to paint a wooden horse within three weeks. And I kind of have a brief outline of what I should be doing within these few weeks. Like, oh, this first week I should paint the base coat for the horse, and then get like the basic details done and within the second week I should uh, start refining on the, the, te the details and blah 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 stuff like that kind of like that uh I think sticking to a schedule is pretty important for streamers since it lets uh, viewers know when to tune in basically yeah yeah I agree I agree it's definitely very useful compared to like a uh, if you start streaming spontaneously like Without schedule, like, oh, so we are streaming at 1 p.m. and then so we are streaming at 9 p.m. and then so we at 3 a.m. <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> uh, um, but I also know that schedules can be anti-fun. Ah, uh, yeah. Since you have to do this at certain times instead of doing it when you feel like it. Yeah, it, I kind of feel that. I kind of feel like that way sometimes. Like, uh, how do I say this? Uh, like, uh, there was a time a few weeks ago where I had, a, uh, I think, was it? Oh uh, yeah, it was a Pokemon stream. But then at the time, I really wanted to play Omori. <laughs> I really wanted to play it. But then I've already uh, put Pokemon on my schedule there. And then like, it would be kind of weird if I just switched it all of a sudden. Like, I was like, ah, whatever. I'll stick, I'll stick to Pokemon. And uh, 
I'll just play a Mori the next time. And uh, yeah, and in the end, I just ended up uh, <laughs> shaming a Mori a bunch, and uh, Pokemon is nowhere to be seen <laughs> currently. <laughs> uh, I should, I probably should uh, get back to shaming Pokemon though, to be honest. Like, it's, it really has been quite a while since I've done that. But that also leads to discipline, which is good. Yeah! I'm really uh, gonna try to... Oh wait, no. I'm trying to myself to be more disciplined. I guess it's one of my goals within this year. Because uh, I don't wanna just be procrastinating all the time. When I could be doing something else. Uh, so having fun is priority number one. If you don't... Oh wait, sorry. Let me tell you this. Uh, and I think it's really important for streamers. You having fun is priority number one. So if you don't feel like playing a game, you definitely shouldn't. If you stop having fun with a game, the viewers will quickly notice. Ah, uh, Well, yeah, I guess that's true. That's true. It definitely wouldn't be fun watching someone that obviously doesn't enjoy playing the game. Like, it would feel like a... How to say this? Feel forced. Uh, like, it, it'll feel like the same kind of... forcedness. Like, when you watch, like, those corporate advertisements and stuff, like, um... With the quote-unquote corporate avatar, uh... Corporate art style. Like, like, you know, like, those humans. Like, how they draw them. Like, it's just, like, a bunch of color and stuff, but, like... I know it's supposed to look good, but it also kind of... Feels fake, in a way, if that makes sense. It kind of gets off like the same feeling, is what I mean to say. Uh, yeah, it's gonna feel forced and tiresome for both viewers and the streamer. Ah, uh, yeah, that's... You, you, you have a good point there. So, I... I, I guess I'll take, uh... I'll take that into consider... Wait, no. <laughs> I'll take that advice into mind. For sure. Next time. But... I don't think I am gonna ever get bored of Omori though. Uh, as you can see, I've been uh, streaming Omori pretty consistently. <laughs> like, I've been streaming it uh, almost every week actually, yeah, every week. Like, uh, once or twice a week. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think it's pretty obvious that I like Omori. I'm not gonna be stopping anytime soon, definitely not. I'm gonna keep continuing until I finish the game. <laughs> it's just like... Like, I really want to know what happens, you know? Like, there's so many questions, like... Are Sonny and Omori the same person? And like... What's gonna happen once uh, Sonny moves away? And like, what's the, the countdown supposed to mean? Like, three days left, two days left. Like, it's supposed to be like, before the day... I mean, no. The calendar is supposed to be like the days before he moves out, but like, why is it so ominous? Why is it counting down? Why? <laughs> it, it makes me feel like something bad is gonna happen really soon once we get to like the final day. Glad to hear you're having fun with it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with it. Like every time I see Omori, <laughs> it's just like. There's always a surprise whenever um whenever I get to like the story the main story portion of the game. There's always uh, a surprise and like some of my questions are answered a little bit. <laughs> but then I get even more questions afterwards. And yeah, I guess that's a probably a good thing because uh it keeps people engaged in the game. So yeah. <laughs> like, it leaves you thinking like, oh, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen? What if that happens? Oh, what if something really bad happens? And yeah. <laughs> hmm, that's a very good question. I don't like that smile. I don't like it. <laughs> well, why does it... Why does it feel so suspicious? I don't like it. Honestly, I'm very worried as to what might happen. Uh, especially, especially uh, that part before uh, I finish the stream. Um, that part where we're inside the library. 
Wasn't there a part where like uh, we saw Basil or something? And like uh, he was looking at space and stuff and uh, he turned around and his eyes turned red. What was that about? <laughs> what was that about? Oh, what happened? Wait. It, what, yo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean, yeah? <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, talk, uh, if I talk more about it, I'm just gonna be wanting to play Omori tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I can't talk about that, Basil, without spo spo spoiling stuff, unfortunately. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, like, Basil really is like an important character to the story. So that's very understandable. And like, I don't want to be spoiled either. I don't want to be spoiled. Because like, I've actually done re quite well. Uh, avoiding spoilers, mo mo mostly. <laughs> Other than uh, Sweetheart Sprite. Her battle sprite thing. Uh, in her boss fight. That's the only thing I got spo uh, spoiled about. But it's not too big, so... I guess it doesn't really count. But uh, yeah. I wanna keep up uh, my sheet of not, not getting spoiled. <laughs> uh, okay, color of the hat. I'm thinking of uh, maybe, maybe after I finish the game, or like, if I feel like it, like somewhere half halfway through the game, I'm thinking of maybe I could do a join stream where I do an Omori fan art. Maybe, maybe, if I feel like it. <laughs> Uh, actually, you know, the more important part is that, like, if I have an idea for it or not. That's the most important part. <laughs> I need an idea first. That is a common artist struggle. <laughs> no idea. Cannot draw. Oh, really? It's not like you cannot draw, like, you can draw, it's just like... It's just not gonna be as good. It's just gonna be like... Yeah. Okay, let me add this bell. <laughs> uh, add this. 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 Yeah, the hat is done. Uh, Omori fan art cat could be fun. Omori cat's art style is very nice. And it could be a nice learning experience. Uh, imitating it with your own twist. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just want to like uh, well not not exactly copy, but like try to replicate uh Omo Cat's art style because I do really like um like uh the in the quote unquote the dream world. <laughs> like you know how everything like the the battle sprites, like everything looks kind of like sketchy, like the art style. I mean, I I really like the feel of it. I also like. I also like how it used like a, a blue outline instead of black. I think it gives like a really nice aesthetic to it. It looks really nice and soft. And it makes everything look really colorful, which I love about a boy's art style. I love how everything how everything's so colorful. And like how cute everything is as well. <laughs> Excluding the the, uh, the monsters of course. <laughs> The monsters are terrifying. <clears throat> uh, okay, the face. Black. Uh, let me warn you though, the ending of Omori is dark, like really dark. Ah, uh, yeah, don't worry, don't worry about that. I've heard, I've heard, <laughs> I've heard about it. Like, I mean, like um, the 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 beginning of the game. Like, each time you boot up the game, like, it does have the go the warning of like, uh, like, this game is not suitable for those who are easily disturbed or something, and it contains, uh, suicide or something, and like, basically dark subjects like that. Uh, it's gonna answer your questions, and for me, it was a really satisfying ending, but it's hard to get through it. Hmm? Hard to get through it? You mean like... You mean like gameplay-wise, or do you mean like 
Emotionally is the question. <laughs> I, I see it probably mean emotionally. Because like you did say the ending of the moon is star, so it probably has something to do with that. Probably. <laughs> uh hard to get through it as it destroys you emotionally. Oh wonderful. Great. I'm uh, I'm ready to cry my eyes out whenever I finish the game. <laughs> like is it is it like a really sad? Like do you do you cry? I thought about the game for weeks after finishing it. Dude, that's pretty good. That must def that must have made like a left a really deep impression in you. For you to have like remembered it for weeks. Uh the story is definitely its strongest aspect. Yeah, for sure. And like from what I've seen so far, it's definitely the case. Definitely. Like um how how do I say? Um I've heard a lot of fans of Omori say like um the story is probably one of the best out of every single RPG Maker game there is out there from what I've heard. Omori was the closest game to making me cry, but it really did, did leave an impression on me. Ah so I guess I better prepare some tissues then before I reach the ending. <laughs> um Regarding anime though, only two animes have made me cry. Uh, Grief of the Fireflies and Collab After Story. Those two are hell insane. Ah, those two. I've actually never watched the Grief of the Fireflies before, but I've heard about it. And I saw... I've seen some pictures of it, but... There's nothing too spoil... Not, not, nothing spoilery. And about Collab, I... I've actually watched it before, but I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> Because uh, I didn't watch Clannad like uh like I think when they're watching. I think it was like when I was really young. Like probably twelve. I mean no, thirteen. Twelve or thirteen. Like it's somewhere around around there. And I don't remember. Uh you probably only watched Clannad and not after story. Ah uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Because I... I cannot recall anything that... That was too sad that happened. I don't remember anything. But I guess it also has been like quite a while as well. So like, I don't know, it could also be that as well. It really has been a long time. Uh... May I have like... A lot of anime I need to watch. <laughs> uh, uh, Kaguya Sama, uh, Love is War. I've only watched the first season of it so far. And like, right now it has like three seasons now, right? <laughs> I still need to watch the second season and the third season. And I also need to catch up on a bunch of anime. <laughs> uh, but I remember, uh, I think. I think Kaguya Sama left off with like a the first the first season. I think it left off with like a really huge cliffhanger, I think. And I remember being so upset by the cliffhanger, like, why? <laughs> like I I was so upset to the point where like um you know on any list. Oh wait hold on. Uh wait hold on. Skip. Skip this. Oh, nice. Very nice regulation. Uh, but you know Anilis? Um, basically uh, on that side, uh, you could keep track of how many episodes you watch and stuff, and uh, the, your ratings for the anime and stuff like, uh, <laughs> I was so upset by the cliffhanger to the point I, I, I used to have put it, uh, give it like a 10 out of a 10 rating, and I literally just dropped it to like, uh, 8 or 9 out of 10. <laughs> Because of the cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, Kana is a basically mediocre hero, but after story gets real. Oh, okay. I guess I'll keep that in mind. Uh, gonna have to watch, watch a lot of anime sometime. Dude, Kaguya-sama is one of the best rom-coms I've ever seen. Uh, 
lots of good stuff for you to look forward to. Yeah, I've also heard a lot of good things about it as well. I have, I've also heard uh, from a friend of mine, like uh, they told me like, dude, Kaguya Summer, like their openings for like season 2 and 3, they're really good. <laughs> you should totally watch it. Oh yeah, and that friend, that friend is the same one that recommended me Hunter x Hunter, by the way. <laughs> uh, Kaguya's third season is currently airing and it's extremely... It's already extremely good. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, then, um... Actually, wait, is it allowed? Uh... Is, is it allowed to do, like, watch-alongs on YouTube? I don't think it is, right? Unless you do it on Twitch or something. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's allowed because otherwise, like, the streams just gonna uh, get taken down. <laughs> I think that friend has a uh, good taste in anime. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> he watches a uh, a lot of different anime. Uh, I can't recall what he has watched before, but uh. He's watched Hunter x Hunter. Uh, I'm not sure if he, if he has watched Clonat before. Uh, he's watched Kake, Kakeguri. Uh, Kaguya Sama. Uh, Spike Family. Uh, I cannot remember anything else. <laughs> I probably need to go ask them sometime. I don't think you can view the anime directly, but you can show the timer of the episode. Ah, okay. Then people can follow along if I'm more correctly. Oh, okay then. Okay. Well then like, uh... I don't know, I... How do I say this? Um... I don't think uh, doing a watch along would be... too entertaining as a stream. Like, you know, because it's just like a... It's a watch along, and like this is gonna be a flat screen. <laughs> like because I can't show the anime, right? Like at most, I can only put my model on there and not show what's happening in the an anime. And I don't think that's gonna be too interesting. Then like um, uh, how do I say this? Unless uh you have a big following that's willing to do a watch along with you. That's the only time I think that would make sense to do a watch along. Because otherwise, like, oh, what's the point? <laughs> like, it's just gonna be there, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely consider watching Clonat, uh, whenever I, uh, somehow find the time to. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why is it so big, the pen? True, true. Yeah, I guess like, watch will also have to wait until like, I don't know when. <laughs> I don't know if I ever be even doing watch alongs actually. Because it's a, uh, like, like I said, even if you have a big following, it's not gonna be the most interesting to watch. Other than the reactions, there's not much, really. Because most of the... I guess the entertainment comes from the anime and the reactions, and, and that's it. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, not everyone has, like, two devices or, like, a laptop that they can switch tabs to. Like, uh, they're watching the anime and they're also watching the reaction. Not, not everyone can do that, so that's also another thing. Wait, where's the body? Ah, there it is. I should probably increase the opacity. Okay. Do this. And do this. Oh yeah, by the way, um... Another question, uh, other than Omori, like, uh, after I finish Omori, uh, are there any games you guys would be interested to watch me play? Like, uh, by games, I mean, like, 
uh, RPG maker games like Omori or like story driven games like Omori Pre preferably uh, preferably ones the that don't have too much fighting in it like a uh, mostly story based would be nice because uh, I do have a a list of games I do want to play eventually wait let me bring up my notes where is it uh ah stop the stream uh oh uh to the moon earthbound uh light eats uh IB uh witch's house mad father angels of death missile Court's party of it steals uh Pocket Mirror, Beaming Mary, uh, Alice Mare, and basically a bunch more. <laughs> the uh, I th I think I see a theme here. A bunch of them are like a horror horror RPG maker case. <laughs> yeah. Um. So this isn't a JRPG, but Doki Doki should be good. I heard. Oh, you mean like Doki Doki Liter Literature Club? I've actually uh, watched the playthrough of it already, so... <laughs> uh, this is a Lisa. Wait, Lisa? Lisa is the one where it's a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, you have to like find out the mystery thing. <laughs> like, you have to go to like someone's phone or computer and find out the mystery or something, right? It's something like that, right? Like it doesn't. It doesn't have to be a horror game. As long as it's something that uh, has a good story, I I'm down for it. Yeah. Ah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let me write it down. Uh. Lisa. Lisa. Okay. Okay. I've written it down. Uh. Anything else? <clears throat> Oh, actually, like, um... Hold on, let me think what other games would be nice. Uh... uh actually, I cannot think of any right now. <laughs> other than story-driven games. Uh... Yeah, that, that's basically it. Story-driven games. <laughs> yes. Uh, how's it look? Oh, cute! Yes, the spine was cute. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, no, don't get off the body. <laughs> okay. Uh, people also say that Persona is really good, but I haven't tried it myself. Oh, Persona! Ah, it. Uh, from what I saw, it, it is pretty good. And like um, all right um, the friend that introduced me to Hunter X Hunter, he also really likes Persona as well. <laughs> He played the majority of the games of the series. The, ma the majority of the games. <laughs> uh, I think I've watched the playthrough of Persona 5 or something. Like, I've only watched it halfway. Like, uh, the beginning part of the game. <laughs> and that's it. But I guess I could consider that. I could consider. Well, let me write it down. I think Persona has a lot of fighting, doesn't it? I guess like the story could make up for it. Uh, let me write it. Persona. Okay, Persona. <laughs> uh, wait, is Persona 5 the one with the cat? Let me just Google to make sure. Persona. Uh, oh yeah, I think it is, yeah. The the one I've watched the playthrough of uh, was Persona 5. The one with uh, the cat Morgana, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure it's Persona 5. <clears throat> uh, you've already played Undertale, right? Yeah. Wait, actually, I haven't played it myself. Actually, no, I did. But to be more accurate, I've watched the playthrough of it first. Uh, I've watched uh, all of the routes. 
a neutral pacifist and genocide, but I got the game myself just to do a genocide run. <laughs> because, 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 um, to, to, to divide myself, um, I wanted to experience the silence fight myself firsthand. <laughs> Because I want to see like how difficult it really was, y you know, uh, and the undying fight as well. Like because um, how do I say this? In the in the let's play I've watched um, it didn't seem to be too bad. Like yeah, it looks hard, but it's it's not too bad. It's what I thought, but uh, man, it's quite hard when you play yourself. <laughs> like, it's ridiculously hard. I. Um, what's it called? Ah, uh, the snow... snowball? Wait, well, you know, the snow piece that you get from the snowman? I wasted... I was supposed to save that for the sand fight, but... I wasted it in the undying fight, because she was just too hard. I actually, um... Never got to beat Sans. I did get close, but I never beat him. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Uh... Okay, I'll complete I did the save. <laughs> Nice. I guess I guess really are similar. I downloaded a safe and just fought sands. <laughs> wow. I, I guess we all did the same thing, uh. We we all did it just to fight sands. Just to experience the pain first half. Do you want to play through the genocide group though, since I really fought for the characters? Yeah I know. I know, I know, I I, I get what you mean. Like like, it, it feels painful killing them, especially Papyrus, like, I felt really bad. And, and at that point, I was like, do I really want to continue doing this just to fight Sans? But, 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 I continue on. Because, like, I came this far already. I, I can't stop here. I gotta keep going. Pappy, yeah. But, but I mean, like, at least um, I didn't kill Sans in that route <laughs> because I couldn't. Wait, did you did you beat Sans though? Did you beat him? <laughs> like um, um, I the only part of Sans fight that I could do consistently was um the beginning portion and uh the, 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 uh, yeah I guess the middle portion like where he was doing like the gaster blaster thing. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it took me some hours though. Haha. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it took you hours. <laughs> the dedication. I was stubborn. <laughs> no, no, no! Don't call it stubborn. I call it determination. It sounds better. <laughs> you did it with the power of determination. <laughs> the determination, determination of wanting to beat Sans. And be able to back to people like, oh hey, I beat Sans. <laughs> and you can, haha. <laughs> so I, I like, uh, I don't think it would be too big of a packing, right? Since you uh, brutally murder everyone else in the genocide route. <laughs> not, definitely not something to uh, brag about. Using the word determination in Undertale just makes it even more sad. <laughs> Yeah, I know, right? I feel, I swear, Undertale does a really good job at making the player feel bad about their actions. <laughs> and it's also really good at making a, a feel for the characters. Like, oh, I want them to succeed and, and that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, like, especially uh, Office and Undyne. Like, you really get a feeling of like, oh, I want them to be together. Can they just get together already? Like, that kind of feeling. Like, yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on, isn't this... Isn't this... Isn't, isn't this song touch you? <laughs> I just realized. Oh, it is. Ah. Ah, I see. No wonder it sounded so uh, familiar. I see. Hmm. Naruhodo, naruhodo. <laughs> oh 
what song is coming next? What's next? Oh, nice and detail. Wow, so temperate. Low fire mix. Let's go. Oh. This song is from the the Hotlands, right? The Hotlands. If I remember correctly. I don't remember which section it was at though. Was it for the entire map? I see Undertale, the sun tracks. It's too good. I think after I finish this bunny, I'm gonna end the stream for the day. It's getting quite late over here where I live. I'm gonna, gonna have to sleep soon and prepare for school. Ah. I don't wanna go. Oh, oh, wait, is this departure? <gasps> Departure! Oh my god! Wait. Wait, wait hold on, hold on, is it departure? Oh, yeah, 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 it's... Where's the Daichi Mofumishi? Fumichi with that coming. Oh, Italy, Jana, Isa. Oh, my dear, Kita Koton. Kanalazu, Inika, Ali. Dami, Michi, Afuletelu. You can smile again. Hi, you happy day. Me da 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 da. Daichi wa fumishi mete. Kimi wa izamete yuku. You can see what me Well, this is... I don't know which part of the song this is. I think it's the second chorus. You just go away. can you get there? Da 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 Oh wait, that's the wrong lyrics. <laughs> uh, are you making animations for stickers? Oh no, no, I'm not because they're gonna be actual physical stickers. 
like physical ones, uh, like this here. Let me bring this up real quick. Uh, yeah, like like this one here, like physical stickers right here, physical. Yeah. So I mean, that mean that means like a uh, your ideas are your ideas are gonna become reality. <laughs> oh wait, wait, don't close this. Delete this. Yeah. Yeah, so be happy that you uh, took part in this make uh the making. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What happened to the body? Wait, what happened to the body of the the, the slime? Did I delete it? Oh my god! No, no, I deleted it. Oh shit! Hold on, let me give it a new body. <laughs> Here's your new body. Oh, that's too big. Ah, ah. Okay. Wait, the more look at this, this looks like that Discord emoji thing. <laughs> like the little yellow blobs. It kind of reminds me of that, actually. Okay, that's a good blob. Good blob. Do this and okay, we're good. Yeah, we we'll finished two stickers. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Uh, that's true. Now that you mentioned it, <laughs> what can't see that anymore? It's a Discord slime. This gonna be a new emoji. <gasps> it's a new Discord emoji, guys. <laughs> I'm actually part of the Discord sticker making team. <laughs> The, wait no, the emoji making team. <laughs> These are the new emojis on this call. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess this gonna be a good place to end the stream. Uh, we got most of the sticker stuff done today, and we also had a pretty nice chat today as well. The stream, yeah, all all around a pretty good stream, yeah. And I could finally use Pinterest today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I guess that's gonna be a stream for today. Uh, thank you everyone for coming here. Like, uh, otherwise, as an across you, Squishy Adventure. Thank you for coming by the stream and keeping me, keeping me company. Thank you. Bye, it was fun. See ya. Yeah, see you in the next stream tomorrow. It could be Omori, or it could be Duolingo. You'll see. <laughs> uh, yeah. It was, it was really fun, this stream. And I'll see you guys in the next stream. Bye-bye.